हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गाड़ा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला स्टूडेंट वी आर लर्निंग द फाइनल ईयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज नथिंग बट द सोलर एंड वाइंड एनर्जी फ्रॉम दैट सब्जेक्ट वी हैव सीन सो मेनी टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन टू यूनिट नंबर फाइव यूनिट नंबर वन टू फोर आर रिलेटेड टू बेसिकली सोलर एनर्जी एंड यूनिट नंबर फाइव इज रिलेटेड टू द वाइंड एनर्जी दैट ऑल ऑफ यू नो those today don't have seen that videos no problem but those student don't have seen that video you have to see that video from our youtube channel so in the today's lecture we are going to see one of the new topic from the biogas energy that is the structure of bioglass plant that means as like the solar power plant wind power plant there will be the biogas plant is there that means for the generation of the energy from the biomass that is the animal dung we have to set up the plant so that we will convert that animal dung biomass into the useful gas okay so to convert that biomass that is animal dung into the biogas that is the useful gas for cooking or other purposes we should have the plant and that plant is called as a biogas plant so in the today's lecture we are going to see in the details about the structure of biogas plant so in a typical biogas plant the feed stock that is the mainly dung feed stock means mainly dung animal dung is mixed with the water and fed into the tank that means what we are mixing the water and animal dung that is the feed stock okay and mixing it into the tank where feed stock goes through the number of reaction producing the biogas that is mainly the methane gas which gas are produced in the biogas that is the methane gas the mixture of the dung and water is called as a slurry that means we are mixing the water into the dung and it is called as a slurry that means for the biogas plant input is nothing but the slurry after biogas production the slurry eventually comes out of the tanks which is rich in nutrients and can be utilized as a fertilizer that means the slurry which we have made for the biogas production after production of biogas that slurry is used for the nutrient to the farm all of you understand and it is used as a fertilizer to the farm that means that animal dung is useful for the preparing the biogas also and it is also used after preparation of biogas it is also used as a nutrient or fertilizer for the farm the biogas produced in the biogas plant is stored in a gas holder on the basis of gas holder the present biogas plant are classified mainly into two group that means that bioglass plant are of the two types so fixed dome type or floating drum type so two types of biogas plants are there fixed dome type and floating drum type both type of plant have the following components as shown in the figure 6.1 so let's see the different components of the biogas plants so here figure 6.1 is shown and that diagram is related to the schematic diagram of the biogas plant here biogas plant is shown so if you see that diagram carefully so here inlet is there and outlet is there so inlet comes into the digester tank so in the digester tank inlet is we know that is the slurry so slurry is the mixture of the animal dung plus water we are supplying the animal dung plus water to the digester tanks so in that tank there will be the so many chemical reactions are there so due to that that slurry will convert into the biogas and the gas holder tank is there on the upper slide of the digester tank and in that that gas biogas will be stored and we will use that biogas through that 
opening wall and from that digester tank once biogas is prepared from the slurry that slurry comes out at the outlet slide and that is the output that is the slurry outlets all of you understand that so that is the basic simple construction of the biogas plant so let's see in the details all the components so first one is the digester that is the digester tank this is the fermentation tank and is built part partially or fully underground that means it will be the partially or fully underground it is generally cylindrical in shape and made up of bricks and cement that is cylindrical shape and made up of the bricks and cement as shown in the figure it holds the slurry within it for the period of the digestion and for which it is designed so digester tank is mainly for holding the slurry for the digestion purpose all of you understand so that is nothing but the digester tank it will be the fully or halfly underground then next important point in the so, biogas plant is the gas holder so after release of the methane from the digester it is collected in the tank called the gas holder that means that gas holder into the gas holder tank that slurry uh, that generated gas will be stored and that gas will be the methane it may be a floating drum that is the drum floats on the slurry in the digester or fixed dome the floating dome is made of steel or iron while the fixed dome is made of cement and concrete the gas connection is taken from the top of this gas holder the gas is taken then taken through the pipes to the burner that means we are producing and storing the tank storing the gas into the tank and we are utilizing that by the pipeline to the burner for the household cooking purpose then next important point of this uh, biogas power plant is nothing but the slurry mixing that is the inlet and slurry pit that is the slurry outlet point so dunk is mixed with the water and fed into the digester from the inlet that means what in the inlet as we have seen we are mixing the water into the animal duck because directly we can't uh, supply the animal duck so to supply that we are mixing the water into the animal duck and from that chemical reaction will happen and biogas will be generated so that is nothing but the mix slurry mixing that is the inlet point then for the outlet slurry pit is there so for that an outlet from the digester from where slurry is taken out to the field slurry pit means what the slurry from which biogas is removed and that remaining slurry is a nutrient or the fertilizer for the farming purpose so that is nothing but the slurry pit that is the outlet so that's are the components of the biogas power plants so basically four components are there digester gas holder slurry mixing that is the inlet point and slurry pit that is the outlet points which already shown here into the figure also so from that figure you can easily understand and related to the biogas power plant we have seen some details also so basically biogas power plant is generally used to derive the biogas from the animal dung that is the biomass okay and uh, the removed or uh, the remaining bio uh, animal dung will used as a fertilizer for the farming purpose that means two uses are the year of the animal dung one is the biogas and another one is nothing but the fertilizer for the farming purpose so in the today's lecture we have seen the structure of the biogas plant and different components of the biogas plants also we have learned through the diagram also so today we will stop here for the today's lecture next point we will continue into the next lecture